So, so typical. So typical. Have we not seen that story before? The falling outs. Yeah, and you know, I wish, and you know, um, Fuentes came back on Twitter, and I said, "Congratulations, good to see you back." And um, some people are like, oh, Rouse begging. Rouse begging to get back on Cozy. First off, Cozy, <laughs> Cozy's dead, dude. Like, I mean, I don't want back on Cozy. Um, and not it's not an insult to Cozy. It's just like the whole thing's dead. Nick's streaming on Rumble himself. Beardson, all these people mm-hmm. are streaming on Rumble uh, because Cozy's been dead since I left it, and that's just mm-hmm. a fact. Uh, and um, it wasn't me sucking up. It was genuinely, yeah, congrats. Good to see you back. Um, and then somebody asked me about the beef, and I said, hey, I dropped that beef. After October 7th, uh, I decided there were bigger fish to fry uh, than uh, you know us going at each other mm-hmm. um, from uh, two people who share at least a, a, a large portion of the same views concerning mm-hmm. that topic. Uh, Did you see the new video, though? The new video of him saying, who doesn't know about Ali from 2020? I, you're going to get you me in it. trouble. Um, <laughs> I did see it, yes. Um, I did see it. Um, yeah, I saw it. Um, but, you know, um, Kina Shea is the guy who put that out, and uh, he's working with Milo Yiannopoulos. Uh, and that, that's, is it that's true that, that Ye, I heard that Ye fired Milo, and then he stopped his porn thing, and everybody's speculating that he's teaming up with Nick again? Um, I, I don't know that he fired Milo. I know Milo wrote a letter that said that he would not participate in, in Yeezy porn or That's whatever. Right. Um, I don't know that he's working with Nick again or anything like that. I have no insider knowledge. Uh, but I know that ever since I stopped the beef, um, with Fuentes for ideological reasons, uh, you know, I've, <laughs> You know, we never had a conversation to settle the the personal stuff about it. Um, it's just because I think fighting the Zionists and fighting uh, Zionist power is a little mm. bit more important uh, than any, you know, little tiff we had. Um, and so that's why I dropped that. But I've noticed the attacks have picked up more uh, from Kino Fag uh, and the Milo camp, et cetera, ever since the ever since I dropped the beef. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's not an accident. Yeah. That's on purpose. Uh, I, I don't think any, anybody wants to see you turn into a, an A-log when they're not even coming after you anyway. But Right, yeah. So and, I get that. And, and it's and, like, you're right, you had your tiff, you guys had your little riff, but it's like, does that mean you need to be, uh, that you should be right. like arch enemies? I, I don't see that. I don't see it, that. I'm more arch enemies because I so strongly disagree with their whole religious, you know, Christ is king platform thing. So I've got bigger fish to fry than uh you know cozy right. drama and, you know i don't want you know we did it for a month month and a half you know nick Flint does this nick Flint does that every day and it draws you know it can draw numbers for sure um but like that's it's hard not, not to talk about them too when it's like these trending and yeah. you know all in the news and you know these big spaces and stuff so it's like you know, when, when he's the poster boy for, like, white nationalism, anti-Semitism in America, it's, like, hard not to talk to, talk about him. Right, and I, I don't know. I just decided that it, it, it wasn't worth um, uh, the collective effort against Zionist power, and it, and it wasn't I, mm-hmm. I don't want my show to be that, like the A-Log Nick Fuentes show every day, mm-hmm. um, because that's... I think that um, I have a higher capability than that, right? Um, and I don't want to see that. Honestly, even yeah. when you get into some of the, the dramas, like there was a while you were doing like cog videos every yes. day, and it's like I don't even give a fuck about that loser. Yes. So I'm not ever I'm not interested yes. in those shows. <laughs> right. Well, exactly. Um, and I thank you for saying that. And I did my due diligence uh, mm-hmm. in terms of uh, taking him down a notch. Uh, mm-hmm. But you know that's not really uh, important. Not that I won't engage in drama here and there. Of course um but that's not really like i i don't know my show's kind of a smorgasbord right um so there's internet drama there's you know crazy people and grace thorpe and all these nuts and and everything else and then there's the stuff i really care about uh you know uh, zionist power and what's going on in gaza and uh you know the political situation and the stability of the nation uh etc and those are things that i actually care about uh and i feel like a lot of these drama streamers and i consider myself 
myself somewhat of a drama streamer too. Um, but it's a mix, right? It, it's like a circus tent filled with, with all different things, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I have the politics and the drama, and I just don't um, – I, I I just don't think that's my lane. I think I'm capable of of better. Uh, you know, we interviewed Peter Brimlow last night uh, from VDAR uh, about his his war. Basically, they're trying to shut down VDAR. Um, Letitia James in New York, uh, and um, I just feel like the interviews and the debates and the panels and and stuff like that. It, they're way more important uh, than any little petty drama. Not that I won't ever engage in that. You know, I don't want to swear off of it forever. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I just feel like that's more important than, uh, you know, any little bigger, bigger battles. Yeah. They're bigger bigger battles. And I know I said a lot of things uh, Mm -hmm. that probably, uh, (laughs) I'm Mm -hmm. pretty good at rhetoric, uh, Adam. Mm -hmm. And I coined a few phrases about America first and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I know there are some on that side who are never going to forgive that, and he's probably one of those people. Um, but um, I just have no interest in, in continuing that. And are you so, blocked? I'm blocked. I'm blocked um, from before he got I was banned. followed. Of course, when mm-hmm. he got reinstated, he still followed me. He unfollowed me, but he did not block me, no. Mm-hmm. Did he block so you? There's a chance. There's a chance. I do have uh, – it is a bigger battle for me because – I see them as co-opting all opposition to Judaism and Zionism and keeping it on the kosher plantation by still worshiping their God, believing their holy books, granting that they were once the chosen people. So, you know, when you see Christianity's controlled opposition and that's the Christian opposition movement, then, you know, that's it's a big issue to me. But from your perspective, I definitely see where you're coming from. But speaking of drama, what do you know about uh, I'm interested in the, the juicy details of uh, Brittany and her co-host? You know any any of the, the details um, on that? <laughs> I don't know the details there, except Mio mm. said never trust a Jew, never trust a woman, uh, <laughs> which is hard to argue. With. <laughs> uh, but I don't know the details there. It could be a work to use a wrestling phrase. Um, mm. It doesn't seem like a work though. It seems it seems legitimate. Uh, they had some type of split. I don't know if they had a romantic relationship or or what was going seems on like there. It. it seems like it. Yeah, it does seem like mm. it. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Um, I, I know that, um, you know, the, the whole idea that I, I would come crawling back to Fuentes, I, I expressed a genuine opinion, like, Hey, congratulations. Welcome back to Twitter. Uh, you know, I dropped the beef. I don't feel like it's productive. Um, but going back to cozy, I mean, that would be reducing my, my reach. Right. You understand? Right. Like that would, that would not be a good move. And, and Nick himself knows that. Uh, and Beardson. They're only that. keeping that alive because they don't want to have the embarrassment of yes. everybody saying that it was a failure. Yeah, and I agree with that. And I agree mm-hmm. with that. And I understand that, too. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I no, I'm not trying to go back to Cozy. I'm just speaking my my mind. Uh, and I saw a Bronze Age pervert and some thread with – um, you know, Kina Gay had put out a thing about oh, Ralph's crawling back to Fuentes and this and that, and then he went off on Keith Woods for some reason, which I didn't. I don't know. They have some type of long-standing beef, and it's like, look, I just said what I said. I just said congratulations, uh, welcome back. Beef's over on my end. Um, he hasn't been attacking me. Some of his underlings, you know, here and there. Uh, you know, I still get. Uh, you know, a groper in my mention talking shit here and there. Um, but they're uh, annoying. But if but when they're gone, it's you almost miss them. You almost miss. Yeah, the, you almost miss it. And, <laughs> and and to his credit, Nick himself, I I haven't heard any shit talk since I stopped uh, my end of it. I I haven't heard anything anything from him. So do you um, feel do you feel bad at all for what happened at the last conference? Yes. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Um, of course, legally, I'm not allowed to speak on some aspects of of, of this um, because of a personal relationship um, that's involved in, in the courts, et cetera. Um, but I was going through um, uh, personal turmoil, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, and I don't think what happened would have happened had I not been going through that, right? Like I was kind Mm -hmm. of, um, I was kind of at a, at a weak point in my mind. 
Uh, and I, I did feel disrespected because I carried that site besides Nick Fuentes, uh, and I and I felt a little um, a little bit of a way. Uh, but I think without those personal, um, you know, conflagrations in my mm-hmm. in, in my own life, I, I I really don't think that would have happened probably. Uh, and of course, you know, Milo was there egging it on, et cetera. And I take responsibility. I did what I did. Um, but, um, no, I, I don't think it would have happened, um, without what was going on in my life. It was pretty epic and legendary though. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that on board. I'll take that on board. And it did set the scene on fire. And I think one reason why, um, they're so mad at me is because, uh, you know, and I stopped, and you know we're not beefing now, but you know I I, I put more blows on them in in two months than these Kino Casino faggots and and uh, Jaden and all these other people did in two years, uh, and so I think there's a lot of um, bad blood for that reason, right? Um, that I was really putting some hits on them, and um, I don't think it would have happened though um, without. Mm-hmm. Uh, the stuff going on in my personal life. So I I feel bad about it just because, um, you know, who knows what would happen. It could have still happened mm-hmm. without that, but I just know that that um, made me you, much you went pretty You went pretty scorched earth. You were like, light the match and like throw it and it just blew up. So uh, yes, yes. <laughs> it, was a, it was legendary. Yeah, I went scorched earth and, um, you know, I... You know, I see a lot of them. They they, they want me to uh, to to apologize for it. Um, I I I don't know that that's. Um, you know, I haven't talked to Nick Fuentes since then, so um, I, I I feel bad about how it went down because I was friends with a lot of those people, uh, and we did a lot of content together, including Nick himself, uh, and you know I. If I could say anything, I, I would apologize for not keeping a straight head uh, about my decision uh, because I could already see Cozy uh, was on the way down um, just by the numbers. Ever since the A24 thing, the numbers on Cozy tanked because Nick left Cozy for like two or three months. Uh, and it was just me there during the day and him whenever he decided to show up at night uh, as the draw. And so that basically killed the sight. Uh, so, you know, I, I feel bad about how it went down. Um, you know, we had Ralph Mania, we had some great moments. Um, uh, you know, I don't look back on those with, um, uh, with bad feelings. Uh, and so, I don't know, it's just a chapter in my career, basically. And, um, you know, I'm not beefing with them, not talking shit about them. Yeah, and I, I see I see Kino Shea confirming that uh, that he's still working with uh, with Milo. And again, I'm not trying to start a beef with Milo, but um, you I know, want Milo I, to come out and like reveal all the dirt on Kanye and all this hilarious gossip. Well, the, well, the thing That's is, I, I stopped being the attack dog against Fuentes because I see the uh, battle against Zionist power as more important. Uh, and, you know, regardless, whatever, you know, petty issues we had or, you know, things we said about each other, um, I, I just don't consider that, uh, to be important. I could, uh, message Milo right now, uh, if I wanted to, but I correctly assume and know, uh, that he's working with Kinoche to try to tear me down because I refuse to be his attack dog, uh, against Fuentes, against others, um, because I just why would he need you to do it? There's well, because I'm the best at it. That's him. why. <laughs> That's why I'm the best at it. You saw what the mm-hmm. Kosher Casino did for two years. You saw what Jay McNeil did for two mm-hmm. years, and you saw what I did for two months. Uh, and uh, it's because I'm the best at it. And uh, I, you know, I just refuse to to play that role. And I'm fully aware he's working with Kina Shea uh, to to try to tear me down. Uh, and, um, I don't know that that's a fight that, that, that he really wants, uh, because, um, you know, 
a lot of people fear Milo, but I'm not one of those people. Uh, and uh, if it ever came, I don't down fear to Milo it, either. Yeah, I don't. I don't fear him, and mm -hmm. uh, I have plenty on him. If it ever came down to that, and that's me telling him that directly live here on air. Uh, so um, you know what? Bring out the guns and bring it out in public, motherfucker. Uh, put your fucking name to it, cocksucker, literal cocksucker. Uh, if you want to come at the Ralph and Mel, come at the Ralph and Mel. Uh, don't use your little uh, faggots on Twitter. Uh, if you got something to say to me, say it. Say it directly to me. You have a line directly to me, uh, and I'm not scared of you, and never have been. So, um, if that's the case, which I know that it is, um, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not afraid of my own Yiannopoulos, and don't need him to succeed, uh, and have my own base of people. And uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, literally uh, Jewish himself, uh, and so you know, if you want to bring it, bring it, uh, because. Uh, I have a lot. I have a lot, an awful lot. Uh, and if we want to go down that path, we can go down that path, or you can just leave me the fuck alone uh, is what you can do. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's that's my message to Milo Yiannopoulos right here in public. Uh, and I know he'll hear it. He's probably listening right now, actually. Um, but, uh, no, you don't have to use all these little faggot trolls on Twitter. You can just come at me directly uh, and get your ass handed to you like you did uh, when I called you out for having AIDS live here on my own program. Uh, and said you looked like a sickly faggot, uh, like you were about to die, uh, and embarrassed you in the worst way you've ever been embarrassed in your whole entire life, uh, live on air. So if you would like that sort of treatment again, uh, you can definitely get it. You can definitely get it. So um, that's my invitation uh, to Milo Yiannopoulos, instead of using his little um, faggots on Twitter. Um, he can come right here on this show uh, and get his ass handed to him. So... Must anyway. be something pretty embarrassing when a guy openly brags about loving uh, black genitalia so much all the time. Yeah, and again, the whole thing with Ali Alexander, he worked with Ali Alexander for years, knowing everything he knew. Um, and again, yes, I saw the clip with, with Nick, and we all saw that, etc. Uh, but Milo did the same thing. Uh, Milo worked with him on the Yay campaign. Milo worked with him for years. They were best buddies. If you think Milo didn't know about all that shit, you're a fucking fool. Uh, and so he deployed it, uh, you know, at the... Um, opportune time to try to take out Fuentes, etc., which didn't work, by the way. Um, it failed. And so if Milo wants to come at me, he can come directly at me. Matter of fact, I welcome that. Uh, I would, you know, rather have peace, you know, peace in our time, as uh, Neville Chamberlain said. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I, I truly am at the point of giving no fucks and will light this whole motherfucker on fire uh, if it comes down to it. And, yes, I know Kinoche is in direct contact with him. Uh, I can be in direct contact with him at any time. Uh, and hopefully these comments get back to him because if he really wants a war with me, um, I can turn it... Uh, uh, I can turn it away from Fuentes toward him. Uh, and there's a lot more dirt on Milo Yiannopoulos than there is on Nick Fuentes, uh, if you want to know the truth about it. Uh, and if we want to go down that road, uh, we can go down that road. Uh, I would prefer not to, but the more you leak, the more you ghostwrite for Kinoche, the more likely you are to have your card pulled, faggot, uh, literal faggot. And so... That's I thought, my... he, I thought he converted to Christianity. He, oh, he's, yeah. Uh, yeah, he didn't sure. pray the gay away. Yeah, you mean he's not taking up didn't the he ass anymore? A, yeah, didn't sure. he go through a conversion uh, yeah, process? Yeah, sure he did. Yeah, sure he did. Sure he did. Uh, but uh, if you want it, you can get it. Uh, and I'm actually eager for that fight. Uh, and most people don't know that, uh, that he is still feeding Kinoche. He's still feeding all these... Um, you know, um, anti-Fuentes people. Um, while Fuentes is at his height, by the way, he thought he had taken Fuentes out, and he didn't. All he did was increase his, his reach and his power. Uh, Milo completely failed, if you want to know the truth about it. I mean, Fuentes getting 32,000 likes on his tweets and shit like that. I mean, you can't call that anything but a failure, Adam, right? Like, I mean, yeah, I know you don't like Fuentes, but... Um, 
Milo failed in his mission to bring Fuentes down. Uh, he's back on Twitter. Milo told me personally that Fuentes and the Groypers would never be allowed back on Twitter, and I have those messages. And he lied because they're back on Twitter. And so he lost this battle. Uh, and if he thinks that I would run from a battle with him, uh, then he doesn't know me very well. Uh, and, you know, I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. But if he wants it, he can get it. Uh, and not up the ass like he usually takes it. Yeah, you don't want to give him what he wants. Yes. Uh, did Remember how he was, like, posting on Telegram that Kanye was gay and was with men and all this stuff? Yes, of course. Uh, and then he starts working with him. And then I wonder, you, you know, the guy that holds up the uh, the little hard drive talking about all the dirt he has, it's amazing that Kanye would have the judgment to hire a guy like that as your manager. And uh, I can only imagine he's been collecting dirt on Kanye the whole time. And if they ever, if he ever fires him or something, it's going to be, it's going to be uh, well, blowing course, the whistle you know, on something. You know what it'll be. Uh... <laughs> Hopefully, pictures of his of his wife. <laughs> She's hot. I ain't gonna lie. She is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.